Good morning, my beautiful people. It is Cherry Heart here, and I am back with a, another video. Yeah. 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 So when I first started YouTube, right, <clears throat> I really thought that I was gonna get up, I was gonna put on a full face of makeup, and I was gonna get dressed real nice into real nice clothes. And instead, I wear Peter Alexandra dressing gown to be fair, still nice, like. And slippers and no makeup and my hair hasn't been washed in a week. <coughs> <coughs> Jesus. Oh my god. Oh, my eyes are watering now. So today's a video that you guys have highly, highly, highly requested me for. Um, and I've sort of been putting it off a little bit because I feel like it would be like a hustler's course video. So today we are going to do a conversation starter. So this is how to start conversations on the floor with groups. Single people, people that are by themselves, people in couples, all that sort of thing. Um, I did get named the couples unicorn because I can persuade couples to go into the lap room. It is more money. They're usually more fun and time goes quicker. They can be a lot more handsy though and a lot more intense. So it is sort of one of those things you do have to gauge. But I do it because it's extra money and the time goes a lot quicker because you're bouncing from people. Um, and I just find it really fun. I feel like I'm going to get right into it for you guys because I feel like you guys have been wanting to know this stuff for quite a while. But I will say this. Um, this is stuff that I have put together over a year and a half of working. Um, it's what works for me. I would not recommend copying everything I say word for word um, because if every single girl is using the same exact stuff that's going to get pretty old. Obviously this is to guide you in what to say. Um, I would definitely prefer if you didn't copy it straight from me. Um, it's not going to sound natural. It's not going to sound like you know what you're talking about. You're going to sound unsure of yourself. I would prefer it if you guys took, as, took this as stuff that I say and work around it. Make it your own. Um, it's just going to make you more money instead of copying exactly what I say because what I say is very like flirtatious and cheeky and I have that sort of persona about me whereas not every single person is like that. Some people are more like flirty flirty or um, like sweet or caring. It's just it's very different. Every girl's very different and you're booked for your own personality so I or the personality that you put on so I would not recommend copying everything I say word for word. It just yeah. Probably won't work out very well. It's not me being an asshole, that's just me being trying to care for you guys because I don't want you guys to um, end up not making money by saying ex exactly everything I say. This is just to sort of help you guys um, get those basic skills to talking to people because I know it can be scary to go up to groups by yourself, to go up to couples by yourself. I will ultimately go up to big groups by myself. I have learned very quickly how to hustle um, by myself in massive groups. It's kind of it's kind of terrifying. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a bit terrifying. Um, couples can be even more terrifying than big groups, <laughs> um, but it is so worth it. And yeah, so we're gonna get into it. So if you guys would like to follow my Instagram, my new Instagram is linked in my description. Um, that way you can be a part of these sorts of videos, deciding what videos I make, uh, what questions you'd like asked, all that sort of thing. I am doing a like a um, get to know me video, and you guys have asked some very good deep questions. So that is still up on my. Instagram if you guys want to go look at that. I'm not too sure if it will be up by the time I upload this, but anyway. <laughs> make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a video from me. Um, I post Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Sundays is a stripper vlog, and Tuesdays and Fridays are videos like this. I've also created a beautiful board with all of your beautiful YouTube comments um, and Instagram comments that have made me teary, and I love you guys. So I've put them all on this big... put them all on this big board up there. You guys are pretty cute and that made me quite teary, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So I did a big board. Um, they are overlapping each other though, which I'm kind of mad about, but you get the gist of it. Obviously, we're gonna start with the classic handshake. Um, not every girl does this. I, I always try to intercept a conversation or start being like, hey darling, how are you? Like, and I'll put my hand out and I will immediately be like, I'm Cherry, what's your name? Um, if you introduce your name straight away, it's just gonna make it so much easier for you. Even if they don't want a lap dance, they are <coughs> going to remember your name so if you come on stage and they didn't want to lap dance but maybe they want to tip you they'll remember whereas if you don't say your name at all you don't put it in the first time that you talk to them the second that you talk to them it's not going to stick in their head because they're going to be bundled up in other conversation that you've asked them if the first thing you're doing is saying your name they're going to remember it i guarantee it i've tried it i've, I've literally done it for experiment wise i've introduced my name all night and then I didn't introduce my name for the rest of the night and only did it halfway through our conversations and none of them remembered but the whole first lot remembered 
Um, so it's definitely something that you want to do, especially if you want to be remembered and you want them to come back and ask for you. That is something that I would do. Because, yeah, maybe they don't want to book you now, but they could come back and book you when they have money. Um, this is also sort of like, I feel like this is more of a hustling thing, but what I used to do when it was a bit super, super quiet, um, and you can, once you sort of pick up the vibe of people, you'll be able to know, um, but I have bought a few people drinks, and I will do this if I know, I've seen them spend quite big money, um, I know that they are big, big spenders in the club, but they just don't feel like spending tonight, I will be like, okay, well, how about I buy you a drink and we chat? Um, and do not do this with everyone. Do not do this with everyone because, oh my god, it has worked out. I've seen some girls do it. Um, and, yeah, girl I used to hustle with used to constantly do it, but she would spend the whole amount of money that they'd book on buying them drinks, and I'd be like, okay, that's not how that works. Um, I'll buy them one, and only very, 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 very few people buy them one, have a chat, and then I'll go. And then the next time they come in, they'll book me, because they remember me, and... That is actually how I got quite a few of my regulars. Um, that is something that I would recommend, but you know how you have to know how to gauge it. Don't just do it to everyone. Don't do it to every random person. Um, if you've seen them spend big money and they're not spending tonight, just do that sort of thing. They'll really, really appreciate it. I know there's going to be quite a lot of girls that are going to be like, oh my god, don't you dare ever buy anyone a drink. Like, that is, you know, that's not how stripping works. Yeah, but it's strategic. It's strategic. And I don't know, it's always worked for me, and that's how I've made it quite big money is by doing that. Ask them how their night is going. A lot of the times I'll be like, yeah, it's good or oh, not great. If they say, oh, not great, I'm always just like, oh, well, you know, lucky I'm here. I can make it better for you. Or um, if they're already like, oh, yeah, it's pretty good. I'll be like, okay, well, do you want me to make it amazing? If they say something like that, it's such a leeway. You've got this. Like, and then they sort of have to answer you. They have to answer you. They either have to tell you if they're going for a lap dance or if they're not going for a lap dance. And if they completely ignore the question, they're more than likely probably not going to go for a lap dance because otherwise they would, they would play around with you with that question. If they completely ignore it and they start asking other questions, they're probably not interested. Um, that has happened to me a little bit. I'll say that and people immediately just sort of like shut me down and they don't really talk about that at all. And then they completely change the topic and then I'll bring it back up again later and they are sort of like yeah and that's when you know and you just leave them um <coughs> I always leave them alone I don't keep pushing I never ever 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 push what I do is I plant my seeds at the beginning of the night I would talk to every single motherfucking person in the club every single person I'll talk to them I'll introduce myself and if none of them go for a lap dance which I assume that they don't right at the beginning of the night because they just got there um and I do all of these conversation styles with every single fucking person <laughs> Um, by the time I'm done with every single person in the club, I will go to the first person that I talk to, which will probably be about an hour and a half later, and I will ask them, and I'll go through the little bit of a question, be like, how's your night going, blah, 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 talk about progression of the night, like, you know, how they're feeling, what drinks they had, just had some <clears throat> normal, just friendly conversation, and then I'll slip the question in of like, oh, you know, and slip the question in of like, oh my god, like, do you want to go touch some titties now? And usually they'll say yes, so I go on with the first person that I talk to, and by the time we're done, our lap dance will come out, and... By, the, by that span of time, I can go to then the second person that I talk to. If they're ready for a lap dance, cool, take them in, finish that, come out, talk to the third person, finish that, come in. It's very strategic. <laughs> always, always ask them what their plans are for the night. Always, always, always ask them because they will most likely tell you. Um, if they're like, oh, you know, just having a few drinks and then leaving, I'm always like, okay, well, do you want to have some fun before you go? Um, or if it's, oh, we're just about to head off actually, I'm like, oh no, you don't want to have a cheeky little five minute dance? And yes, I know to some some girls are going to be like, oh my god, you're underselling yourself. If they're saying they're just about to go and they're literally just about to go, saying, uh, so suggesting such a small amount of time, I've done it, I've gone in, people have actually looked at the price and gone, oh, you know what, we'll, we'll go for like a 15 or we'll go for a 30. Um, and that has happened before and their friends are out there like, oh, okay, I thought we were going back. And then the friend will sometimes come in because they're like, okay, well, I better come in while you're in here because I guess we're not going home. And then they end up by staying for quite a while, so because they rely on each other and then when that guy, the friend comes in with another girl and they're in there, the time is jagged, which means my guy isn't going to stay longer to match his time up with his friend. And then so back and forth, that has happened so much and we're like, okay, <laughs> all right. If they say just going with the flow, taking it as it comes, I'm like, I always, always, always say, this goes in with like asking what their plans are, I always say, Okay, well, do you want me to make the plans for you if you're going with the flow? Like, you know, oh, I'm a great planner. Like, oh, I'm a great events planner. Like, let's have some fun. Like, I can make your night better. Like, that sort of thing. Obviously, making it sound more, like, 
cutesy. I'm like, oh, do you want me to make the plans for you? Like, I'm a really good event planner. Like, that sort of thing. It, it's funny. It's cute. It's cheeky. It's my sort of style. Um, and that sort of stuff, it can either give them a laugh, they're like, okay, what's your plans then? And then obviously you explain about the lap room, you explain about fantasy rooms. Number four is come up with catchy phrases. So the stuff I always like to say if they're sort of on the fence, I'm like, well, you got two hands and I got two titties. It's a match made with heaven. Or, well, you got my titties in your face while my owl shakes. Um, all that sort of thing. I, <laughs> I love saying that sort of stuff because they laugh and they really like those sorts of sayings. I think they're funny. They think they're thought out. Um, I've gotten quite a few people in there just by saying stuff like that. If one of the girls wants to hustle with me, I will split it. So I'll be like, okay, will you get my titties in your face while her arse shakes and stuff like that. Like, it works out so well. Or if there's two of us, I'll be like, well, you've only got two titties and we, uh, we, you've only got two hands and we've got four titties. That sounds like a pretty good deal to me. So it sort of, it works out real well and having like those sort of catchphrases is just fun. It sort of, if it makes it more like, I don't know, bantery and just like, lightens the mood a bit instead of it just being like okay let's go for a dance let's go for a dance it's so it's sort of more like cutesy and fun and different um number five is if it's their first time in a strip club obviously you're going to talk about taking their virginity um it's a tradition they can't leave the strip club unless you take their virginity um i luckily because of my name i always say oh well it's a tradition cherry's got to pop your cherry that's how it goes for your first time um i got a lot of first little timers because of that it's so cute first timers are always Always most likely going to get a lap dance. Even if it's a small one, they're always most likely going to get a lap dance. Hey, no, not the not the satin. Um, this include like usually their friends will pay for it, or what I do if it's some teenage boys who don't really have any money, I will be like, okay, well it's his first time, but do you want to come in as well? And they're like, oh, do do do. I'm like, it actually works out cheaper if you both come in, and then they're like, okay. <laughs> Which is how I get my couples prices for two guys. It is really meant for couples, but in quiet seasons and stuff, I do hustle it because, well, it's more money for me, more money for the club. And what are you doing, man? Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to film a video. Okay, so that's how I get my men in there. And you know what? One time I had four people and managed to get a group in there, which was great. That was real fun. Um, they booked five minutes for the whole group, which was a bit. I think it was five minute prices. For, oh no, it was two five minute couple prices and then two of them decided to stay all night all night paying couples prices um, for both of them and they stayed all night that was a good night for me that was great the six is if they have the girlfriends that's okay because you know what I'm not gonna tell if you don't tell and I'm not gonna tell anyways because I have confidentiality agreement so I'm never gonna tell anyone and if so guess what babe if you've got a girlfriend I will never tell your girlfriend I don't care if I know her I don't care if I grew up with her I don't know I don't care if she works in my local calls I don't care if she's my next-door neighbor confidentiality and I rather keep my job and I what what good is that gonna do I don't care um, and all your girl, like some girls, <laughs> there's one girl that posted on TikTok about telling this girl's guy that gave her like, money, like four grand or something, and ended up by telling his girlfriend anyways, um, in the strip club, because she danced for her, it was just not good, and <laughs> she was bragging about it on TikTok, and that made me really, really angry, because obviously she's got a little bit of a big platform, and I know her, and I know her personally, I have danced with her, and that just made me really, really fucking angry because I have lost regulars to girls doing that. Um, I have had regulars text me and in tears because they get disowned by their family or they got kicked out by their girlfriend's place. And I just find it so fucking rude. You don't need to do that. I really don't appreciate when girls do that. So guess what, babe? I'm not going to tell your girlfriend or your boyfriend even. I'm not going to tell your boyfriend that you're there or your family. Nothing. I don't. I do not care. I always just play around with them, honestly. Like, Or I'm like, oh, is she spying on you? <laughs> like, and that sort of thing makes them go, oh, no, no, she doesn't know what I'm doing. Number seven is if you enjoy banter and you guys are bantering back and forth, um, that's really fun. Don't be afraid to do it. I love bantering with people. I will banter for ages. Um, I, I love it and it is a really, really good way to have some fun and get to know each other and then you can sort of banter them into the lap room. I am never afraid of banter. If they want to, they talk rudely to me, I will banter back with them and see how they go. If they're rude to me still, that's a no for me. If they banter back, I'm like, all right, so we're just bantering here. Okay. Um, so that is how I banter. And then usually they, the lap room, if I get them into the lap room, usually those dances are so fun. They're so fun and then you just fuck around and it's, the time goes so quickly and because they're enjoying their time with you and they feel like they get along with you, they'll probably book longer. 
But yeah, bantering is such a, such a, such a big thing. If you're a good banterer, do not be afraid to use it. I'm telling you right now. I've met girls at the back who are such good banterers and they banter so well and they come out on the floor and they just forget it all. And I'm like, okay, you're allowed to though. Like I understand that it, like you don't want to upset your customers, but most of the time a lot of customers love banter. They find it kind of hot if you can throw things back at them. Um, because they're like, oh shit, this girl can handle her own. Yeah, I can. <laughs> like it's that sort of thing and it really... I don't know, it turns them on. It really does. I've had so many guys tell me how much it turns them on. So that's something that you guys, if you guys can do banter, do it. Don't be afraid to use it. But don't, be, don't come off as rude. Make sure you gauge who you do it with because some people will not like it and some people will. It's if they're coming up with excuses for literally everything, like every excuse under the sun, sometimes that'll mean that they really just don't want to dance or they're just trying to see how much you can take. Um, I have a response for every single goddamn excuse that you could throw at me. Biggest excuse is I have no money. I'm like, oh, but you had money to get in and to pay for drinks? And they're usually like, oh, well, I'm like, I'm sure you could spare some change to come have a quick dance. And that usually will get the biggest one you will come across is that one. Or, or the wife one, or the, um, I have kids at home. It's like, okay, it's all right. I don't need to know about your kids. Um, what are some other ones? Or... I'm too old for this one. I'm like, baby, you're never too old for a strip club. You're here for a reason, right? That sort of stuff is very common and you'll probably get that a lot, but most of the time it doesn't mean no. It just means that they want to see if you can handle how annoying they can be. <laughs> Number nine is I always sell a lap, lap dance. Like it is the most amazing thing you will ever fucking see. Like I am a goddess blessed from the clouds. You will never be able to touch me ever again. Um, this is your one and only chance to ever have me because I am a fucking goddess. And I sell it like that. And you know what? <laughs> it works like that. Because sometimes I'll get people that will rebook because they're like, well, I don't want you to get booked for the rest of the night. It's like, I probably won't, but I'll take that. Um, I make it sound like I am literally blessed from the heavens themselves. And if you touch me, you will fucking be blessed for the rest of your life. Like, that is what I sell it as. I don't obviously sound like that, but I sell it as that. And the amount of people that have told me that I should go into real estate and car sales is ridiculous because I can pitch myself so well. And obviously you do not have to do this. And a lot of girls will turn their nose up at pitching yourself. Um, I like to do it. I personally like to do it because it works for me. I'm funny with it. I can be quirky with it. And yeah, it's so cute and quirky. <laughs> Uh, you know, I can have fun with it, but it's natural to me. Um, it's not natural for everyone. It can come off real weird for some people. Some people don't want to do it and that's completely fine, but I love pitching myself. I find it fun. I love, and I can tie in some banter with it. Make yourself sound like you are literally God's blessing. Like they are so blessed to even be able to lay a pinky on you. Like, that's, that's who you are, babe. You're a fantasy. Like, you deserve everything. You know what's funny? is one of my first ever regulars, who I know is probably watching this, he, when I first ever talked to him, he was like, all right, pitch yourself. And I was like, oh. And I was like, three weeks into stripping, I was like, I, it's real good. And he was like, that was a really shit pitch, but I'll take you anyways. I'm like, okay. Um, and he told me that pitching was actually quite a big thing. Like, yes, he took me anyways, but in the lab room, I was talking about pitching, and he was telling me about how other girls had done it. I was like, oh. And then the next time I saw him, I pitched myself and it was a little bit better. And he was like, yeah, getting better. And he booked me. And then he, I think he heard me over talking to some people. And he was so, like, that man taught me how to pitch. That man was my saving grace because, oh my God, did he actually earn my income? Because if not, I wouldn't have realized how big pitching was, like pitching yourself was in strip clubs was. I don't know. It just never occurred to me that that was a thing, but it is. This is something that some girls will say yes to and some girls will say no to. This is a me personally thing. With conversations and conversations starting, I can usually get everything I need to say, all the bantering, everything done in less than one stage set. One stage set. One stage set could go for three songs or four songs. Our club is four songs. I will give it mm, three to four songs. I will always give it a stage set. Um, as soon as that name is called on and off, that's my, that's my time limit. And I make it fast and I make it pacey because I don't like wasting time. And you can gauge within 15 minutes if someone wants to go for a dance or not. And if not, that's fine. You plan a you seed, come back later. I have always said that. I have always stuck by that. And I think I, I got told that by one of the girls when I first started that that's what she gave. And I was like, 
Oh, because I used to spend fucking ages with people. And I was like, this just is not going anywhere. And like, yes, even though I'm fast paced, I still get long dances. I still get good dances. I'm not, I don't sound like I'm rushing it. I don't sound like I'm just like, hey, let's go for a dance. Because I still ask them all the questions. I still have fun with them. I still, you know, chat to them nicely. But this obviously depends on every single person. Sometimes I'll spend longer with someone. And sometimes I'll spend less with someone. It really depends, but I'll never come straight out and ask for a dance. It's just not what I do. I'll still get to know them because our club is very homely. I'll get to know them, have some fun with them, but you can do all of that in less than 15 minutes. Number 11 is if you have a pool table, go take them to the pool table and have a game. Some people will be on the fence and some people will not know really how to talk to you. Some people just don't know how to talk to pretty ladies and that's completely fine. Sometimes I need some coaching into it and sometimes I just need to get to know you a little bit better. What is better than that than a pool game? I love playing pool with people. Um, haven't lately because no one, everyone's just been pretty good. They don't really need any coaching into it. <coughs> but if it's bore, if there's nothing going on, I'll be like, hey, you want to play a game of pool? And you know, they, I, I will ask them if they want to pay me for a game of pool, like $50 for a game of pool or mm -hmm, naked because the $50 is my price. It's not the club. Um, that's something that I learned from one of my friends. Like, and that always doesn't work. And some people that want to, you need to coach into getting into the lap room. Obviously I'm not going to ask them to pay for a pool game with me. I'll just play for a pool game with them because I know that they're not really going to pay for a pool game with me if they won't pay for a lap. It's, um, but if it's two guys who really want to play pool and they, they really want to lap dance, but they want to have their game pool first, then I will do that. Um, so that really, really it's it's fun it gets to they get to know you you can have fun with it i like climbing up on the pool table and like shooting it and like putting my ass on the on the little little hole things and it's, it's just fun it's just fun and usually they'll start to loosen up and they'll have fun with you and then they'll either go for lap dance or they won't sometimes they just need that little bit of extra connection and then they'll be happy to go if you're if you come across someone who is genuinely upset about something like you know their ex their wife has passed away or they just got kicked out of the home or they just got a divorce or I've had ones where their kids have passed away or so on and so forth. Just sit and talk with them. You don't always have to prioritize making it quick and fast and getting them in there because sometimes it's just that doesn't work out that way and sometimes you'll come across that one person that just really needs you to sit and chat um, and you know what you can usually get them into the lab room if you just sit and chat with them and you ask you know do you want to go somewhere more private we can chat like we, I don't have to get naked for you we can just sit we can chat um, obviously it is still a lap dance, so you still have to pay for it, but it might be better than sitting out here. That way we can be more close with each other. You know, there's these fantasy rooms. As shitty as that sounds, you can tie it in any way you can. Um, and I've had a lot of people that will just want to sit and chat and cry. And that's completely okay. And you're allowed to do that because at the end of the day, I like to call us naked therapists. Um, because that is what we are. You know what? They will always, always, always remember you. They will always remember you. Um, if you've helped them through that. Number 13, another thing I'd really like to talk about is when you are approaching patrons, please don't just think of them as money bags because they're not. They're people. And it will show through in your conversation that you just think of them as money. Um, if you just treat it like a normal club conversation, obviously with your hustling in it, it will come off so much smoother, so much nicer, not forced, and they will be able to tell. If you're just thinking of them as money bags, they will be able to tell like that. I've heard girls that will hustle like they're money bags and not get lap dances and then I've heard girls that come straight afterwards talk to them like they're human beings and they'll get a lap dance. It's very strategic. Number 14 is just, there's sometimes just people that you cannot talk to. Um, there's people that just will not budge in, budge in conversation, you'll try to talk to them and they just don't want to talk to you, like they'll be very short with you uh, and you'll try to have a conversation and they'll just sort of be like, yep, yep. Oh, I'll be like, how's your night? Yeah, good. Night. Oh, so what's your plans for the night? Nothing. Oh, do you want me to uh, make them for you? Like, yeah. Uh, nah. I'm like, all right. Well, and you know what? I always, always, always say I end this every conversation that I have with someone. I will end like this. If I'm planting my seeds, if they don't, if I feel like they don't want to go for a lap dance, if I feel like they want to go for a lap dance, but maybe later, which is planting my seeds, all that sort of thing. If I just don't want to talk to them because they're fucking assholes, I'll be like. Well, I'll let you get settled in. I'll let you have a couple more drinks. Make sure that you're settled in and I'll come back and find you in a little bit. Um, and then if I forget the name, I'm like, sorry, Dylan, what was your name again? And I'll say my name and then that's it. That's how I end it. Um, I don't do that. I'm just going to go to the bathroom because otherwise I look for you afterwards. I just prefer to be like, okay, well, I'm going to go do the rounds. Like, you know, have a good night. I'm just going to let you have a few more drinks and settle back in and we'll come find you in a little bit. It just, it flows so much better. Approaching groups. Um, if there's big, big groups or small groups, I will just... I will walk in with confidence. I do not want to look intimidated or shy and I will I will gain that confidence as I'm walking over because it's scary but I'll walk over and if there's a big conversation going on I'll just stand there and I'll just wait 
And sometimes they'll look at me and I'm like, oops, sorry, I don't want to interrupt your conversation. You finish. And they'll most likely be like, oh, no, 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 it's fine. And then they'll start chatting with me and then I go through those questions with them, basically. I just ask them the normal basic questions. We find out why there's a big group. Is there a box party? Like, what are you doing? Is it just a boys' night out? Do we need some cheering up? Who broke up with their girlfriend? Who broke up with their wife? Let's have some fun. Um, is it a box party? Let's get them on stage. Or are we having, are we treating the box to some fun today? Should we get some money together and we just surprise him? All those sorts of things they tie together um groups are really scary but they are usually pretty well paying unless they're all fucking dickheads and then they won't be paying but most of the time they're pretty good um but yeah if they don't look at you when they're doing the conversations i will sort of slowly inch to a different kind of part of the group because obviously you got your clicks in the group um if they're all talking together that is scary to walk into but i will literally just walk up and i'll be like hey guys how's your night going why are we here like, da 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 box party, da. <laughs> if you're with another girl, it can be easy to sort of split off into two. So you can sort of, one girl can talk at this side, the other girl can talk at this side. You can try and do a couples thing. Um, but yeah. But if, you know, I walk up and they're in the middle of the conversation, I'd be like, <laughs> and I'm like, sorry, I really don't want to interrupt your conversation. Like, I'm so sorry. I was trying to like walk over here as slowly as I could so I didn't like annoy you guys. And they'll be like, oh no, no, it's fine. And if they're like, yeah, sorry. I'm just in the middle of a conversation. I'll be like, all right, well, I'll come back in a little bit. So sorry for bothering you. I'm Cherry, by the way. Um, approaching couples. This one is the last one. Approaching couples. All right. This one's my favorite. So when I'm approaching couples, obviously it's they're usually pretty lovey-dovey. They're usually pretty like touchy with each other. Um, you don't want to stand right in the middle of them where they like got their hands on their legs or anything like that because that can be very intimidating for the girls. Um, I always stand more. I always, always, always go to the girl side, and I always stand on the girl side, and I will stand pretty close to them, so it's sort of like elbow to elbow. So she knows I'm not just hitting on a man, because some girls will think that you're just hitting on the man. And I'll always go up, always make more contact with the girl, always, and I'll be like, go through the basic questions. Oh, you know, are you guys dating? And they'll usually be like, yeah. I'm like, sorry, I always just like to ask. I've been put in some really uncomfortable situations before, like brothers, sisters, dads, daughters. Very awkward. And then they're like, oh, and that usually brightens the mood a lot, <laughs> like a lot. Have you guys been here before? And sometimes the girl will be like, I have, she hasn't. Or sometimes the girls are like, I have, he hasn't. I'm like, perfect. Are we popping cherries tonight? Like, ch should cherry pop your cherry? Should we like make this like a cute little day, a little threesome? And most of the time they'll be like, yeah, that, that, that'll be fun. Or sometimes they're like, oh, I don't know if we're doing couples dances tonight. I'm like, you know what, babe, that's completely fine. If you don't want to do a couples dance, that's fine. I'll take the girl though. Like I'll... Can I steal your girlfriend away from you? And sometimes a girl will be like, the guy will be like, oh, you know, I'll pay for a dance with, with you and her. And that's how I get my girls in there from couples. Or sometimes a girl will be like, oh, okay, I'll go, but he has to come. And then it ends up being a couples dance. It's very <laughs> strategically played. Um, but always pay the girl the most attention because the guy finds it so hot thinking that you're more into his girlfriend. And the girl thinks it's hot that you're more into her and not the guy. It, it, girls that approach couples and mainly talk to the guy, or if you get a the couple in there and they're mainly dancing on the guy, oh no, please don't do that, that's so scary, unless the guys ask for it, that's so scary, I don't know, I watch it, I'm like, please, no one go cry out the back, but I always, always, always do, if they say yes to a dance and I get them in there, obviously there's a little bit more talking to it, but that's just the basic rundown of it. I don't want to give away all of my hustling techniques. But if I get them in there, and when we're in there, I will always ask more than the rules, so I'll tell them my rules, and I'll be like, okay, so I'm going to move on to your rules. I'm like, I'm going to give you guys some rules. You guys can give me some rules. This is how this works. I just want to ask you, and I'll do this with m most people I take, and they're like, okay, I've given you m your, my rules. What are your rules for me? Because sometimes people don't like being touched on the head or the hair not being touched and that sort of thing, It's um, which is completely fair. They pay for it. Anyway, so I'm always like, okay, so I've given you my rules, so you can give me your rules. Are you okay with me dancing on her? Doing everything with her, I'll always ask if the guy's okay with me dancing on her first because it makes it cementian that I want to dance with the girl more than I want to dance with the guy. And he will usually be like, nah, go for whatever. I'm like to the girl, okay, you'd fine with me dancing on him, doing this. And sometimes they'll be like, no, I'm not. Or sometimes they'll be like, no, that's completely fine. Like, do it, go for it, dance on him more. I want to watch it. And so you dance on the guy more because she wants to watch it. Or if you're, if he really wants to dance, he really, he really wants you to dance for her, dance for her more time. Make it very intimate with the girl because mostly they will really enjoy it. But yeah, that is basically all my 
tips for conversational starters. It had a little bit of hustling in there. Conversation starters is one of those things where it would be plain out boring if I just gave you what to say and that's it. I wanted to give you a little bit more of a hustling thing with it as well. I feel like that sort of ties in together and will help you guys a little bit. But yeah, please don't copy everything word for word because if everyone starts doing the same thing, that will not, will not work out very well and it would just sort of come off very robotic-like. And it's taken me quite a while to be able to establish all this. So I really prefer it if you guys didn't copy everything word for word and just came up with it. Um, and just sort of elaborated on it and made it your own because that's going to help you so much more it's going to help me so much more and i just wanted to give you guys just a basic rundown to give you guys just a little bit of a basic rundown and help you guys out as much as possible because i know it can be really difficult walking into couples and groups and just hustling in general and starting conversations is very scary especially when you first start but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um i know it was a video that you guys have wanted for a while so I really hope that I did it justice but make sure you go follow my new Instagram that's linked in my description so that way you can be a part of these sorts of videos you can ask the questions you can be a part of giveaways all that sort of thing make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the she just fell make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a video from me um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you beautiful